Uh, at least 10,000 security personnel, including from the paramilitary forces, have been deployed to guard 20,000 electronic voting machines in which the votes cast in Saturday's uh, Delhi Assembly polls remain locked. Neha uh, is joining us at this point from uh, one such strong room where these EVMs are being kept. The workers of various political parties now standing guard. Neha, what's the fear? Angita, it's actually not all political parties, but only the Aam Aadmi Party that has deployed its volunteers. Even a day after voting, they're still at work here. And I'm outside at one of the polling uh, counting centers uh, in South Delhi, where the results of eight constituencies will be declared from. There is heavy security, as you mentioned. There is a three-tier security here. But the Aam Aadmi Party not convinced that these EVMs are secure enough and have deployed their own volunteers who've been here for the, uh, for the entire day. क्या कारण है कि आप लोग दिन भर से यहाँ पे निगरानी रख रहे हैं? निम्न जो पार्टी से आदेश मिले हैं, जैसे कि विधायक जी ने बताया था कि यहाँ पे आप लोगों को रुकना है। इसके बाद हमारा काम ये है कि जो भी लोग अंदर जा रहे हैं, बाहर आ रहे हैं, उन लोगों पे निगरानी करें। जो भी गाड़ी अंदर जाते हैं, उसको देख भरोसा है मगर बीजेपी कांग्रेस वाले बिल्कुल ही भरोसा नहीं है कभी ये क्या करवा दे इलेक्शन कमीशन पे भरोसा नहीं है आप लोग नहीं इलेक्शन कमीशन पे बहुत भरोसा है मैडम बहुत ज्यादा भरोसा है लेकिन कांग्रेस और भाजपा पे भरोसा नहीं रात के लिए क्या इंतजाम किया है रात के लिए मैडम यहाँ पे हम गाड़िया है हमारी हम इनके अंदर ही जो चार पाँच कार्यकर्ता है ऐसे दो तीन गाड़िया है हम लोग यही रुकेंगे रात के टाइम में और सुबह जो दूसरी विधानसभा के लोग वो यहाँ पे आ जाएंगे और उसके बाद हम लोग यहाँ चले जाएंगे Right, so they've come prepared to spend the right. night here uh, in their cars, uh, which will keep a watch on these uh, counting centers across the city. Ankita? All right, clearly, despite those uh, exit polls giving them the numbers, the Aam Aadmi Party really sort of taking this right down to the wire, not, uh, uh, you know, taking their eyes off those EVMs still counting begins. Neha, thanks very much for joining us uh, with that uh, update. Well, as we are saying, almost all exit polls predicting a victory for the Aam Aadmi Party. But irrespective of those results, has the Delhi election now catapulted the AAP into becoming a rallying point for anti-BJP forces? And could Delhi, in fact, become a launch pad for a new national political dynamic? Joining us tonight, Sajay Kapoor, editor, Hard News Magazine, from the Congress, Onika Mehta, uh, Marotra, and Pawan Varma is, uh, continues to be with us from the Janata Dal United, Aman Sinha from the BJP, and Atishi Marlena, spokesperson for the Aam Aadmi Party, also joined. Joining us, Atishi, why don't you begin? Do you believe that uh, Delhi could well be a launch pad now, not just for the Aam Aadmi Party, but for an all new political dynamic nationally? I think Ankita, Aam Aadmi Party represents a new kind of politics. Aam Aadmi Party represents a politics that is not run by large corporate funding. Aam Aadmi Party represents anti-corruption politics. Aam Aadmi Party represents participatory politics. And that is the reason that the people of Delhi seem to have decided for a second time that they want the Aam Aadmi Party here. And I think this is the reason that there is a possibility for a new kind of politics emerging because the people of India clearly seem to want an alternative. They want an alternative because irrespective of the governments that have come to power, be they be Congress, be they BJP, nothing changes for the common person of the city. They still don't have access to education, high quality education. They still don't have access to health, water, okay. electricity, okay, I want to take basic this beyond, beyond Delhi. Do you, do, you, do you see this as a kind of alternative uh, politics that you now can take Ankita, nationally? May I respond? I think Ankita, right now, right now our focus will be on Delhi in terms of actually right. providing good governance to Delhi. But Aam <laughs> Aadmi Party does represent a new kind of politics, and the okay. fact that we okay. have succeeded in Delhi for a second Aman time Sina, shows Aman that the people of the entire country are looking for an alternative. Okay, Aman Sina, are you worried that the Aam Aadmi Party could become this sort of rallying mm. point for all political forces that are opposed to you? We already saw uh, several mm. parties giving them support, asking their supporters to vote for them ahead of the BJ, uh, ahead of the Delhi elections. Um, what next? No, no, not the least, Ankita. And in fact, we are used to this BJP versus the rest. In the present Delhi elections, also, Aam Aadmi Party got support of CPM, Trinamul, uh, Imam Bukhari, and you know, Congress Party also abdicated this, uh, its you know voting constituency in favor of Aam Aadmi Party. They have been in a unholy behind the scenes alliance. And uh, therefore, we have acknowledged that uh, situation. The people of country have, uh, you know, acknowledged that uh, that prospect and situation. And in the past election, in the Lok Sabha election also, that was the case. And BJP prevailed. And I'm sure in Delhi elections also, 
despite all their you know ganging up the bjp is going to prevail now let me also add to my friend uh, you know uh, atishi who was still in election mode and delivering a election speech the kind of alternative politics that aam aadmi party represents we have seen the kind of corporate funding that they received 2 crore hawala at midnight and you know the uh, all the allegations of uh, distribution of booze liquor and distribution of cash so i do not really wish to go into that but uh, their hypocrisy stands okay. miserably exposed okay once again i'm sure when the results come out they are delhi tomorrow, and and that will be evident to, be... to one and all okay okay um what about the janata dal united pavan varma i mean many could turn around and say that you've been a bit of a fair weather friend why did the jdu suddenly decide to extend support to the aam aadmi party and uh, whatever delhi victory now emboldens uh, arvind kejriwal to expand say the aap's ambitions into bihar will uh, the jdu continue to support it then i i want to just clarify the position uh, ankita the congress remains our ally in bihar but with the congress we don't have a nationwide alliance our approach to politics is that the index of opposition unity where it's effective needs to rise because the tactics employed by the bjp to win elections is something which is exceptionally subversive which is to polarize voters on religious grounds and to try and see if by doing so and by inciting communal hatred if they can garner a hindu versus muslim vote to face that it's exceptionally important that the index of opposition unity rises in our own limited way we have tried to come together in the janta parivar and we will support all those forces who are effective enough to provide a effective channel challenge to the bjp which is the reason why we have supported the aam aadmi party also in, in, incidentally because of their emphasis on ethics their stand on corruption their touch with the common man and their i agree and their and their emphasis on providing an alternative idiom of politics for the moment in delhi we have supported them but it's but important to understand that even if the aam aadmi party uh, 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 ankita understand the significance of this election even if the aam aadmi party or for instance not to win this election outright the moral victory is theirs because they have defeated the bjp or given it a challenge and a run for its money just a few months after the parliamentary sweep okay. in the okay, election in the capital you... of the nation okay would you see that as the big significance of no, the delhi elections as May well I just uh, mr mr sena will just just come to you in a moment but very quickly do you see this as a sort of watershed moment regardless of the outcome of the delhi polls i think you know it's rather premature to actually provide an analysis of uh, an event which is still not uh, you know still unfolding but having said that we must recognize one thing that delhi is a half a state and it has uh, been an election which is more like a civic election not on the issues that uh, trouble people in say for example uh, bihar or any other part of the country where caste and issues of sectorism i think are far more paramount so uh, seeing too much in the delhi election i think maybe a bit foolhardy but having said that it is an opening for uh, many political parties who hmm. think who thought that you know they didn't know how to control or stop bjp from uh, you know going on they stopping the juggernaut which has been moving on since uh, may 2014 okay. and uh, this provides some kind of uh, thinking about how they can do it okay uh, i believe atishi has a quick point oh, to make and then i'll take this back to the bjp yes yeah. atishi ankita as i was saying the question is of a new kind of politics and this new kind of politics pushes all other political parties in having to change their stand okay. do remember that when the aam aadmi party government was in power in rajasthan the bjp government had to say that no we will have less cars in our cavalcade akhilesh yadav in up had to say that i will travel in a car without a red beacon we have forced other political parties into going back to the people into going door to door campaigning into a face to face interaction with the people and raising people's core concerns in this election people have voted as citizens they okay. haven't voted as hindus as muslims as banyas as lower castes they have voted on issues that affect citizens at any okay, like let the bjp respond to that and, and the, this is the new trend that okay. i think we should, we can see in indian the aam aadmi party continues now. to insist that they've given an alternative form of politics will it lead to any kind of <coughs> rethink in the bjp's own hmm. politics uh, aman sena no that is the difficult precise difficulty with aam aadmi party their dichotomy between what they say and what they do and there therefore i say that their hypocrisy is miserably exposed 
and people of India acknowledge and realize this. Therefore, Aam Aadmi Party made a world record of uh, you know uh, forfeiting their election deposits in more than 400, 420 seats all over India. So I do not uh, wish to you know add add to what uh, people of India have already you know declared with re with respect to Aam Aadmi Party. Now now please uh, Ankita allow me to add and by saying that as far as you know BJP is concerned, we are absolutely confident of our victory right. and. Uh, I'm, uh, you're right that it's a closely contested election, yes. but uh, we are quite confident of our victory. What is the next question that you ask, Ankita? All right. No, I just want to bring in the Congress also at this point because the one thing that uh, every poll has No, but also I just wanted to make a short comment. comment. Yes. Of BJP. Ankita, just a brief comment with regard to Third Front. Yes. Ankita. Yes, go ahead, Aman Sinha. No, this, when we say BJP versus the rest, Yes. when we say BJP versus the rest, what is this rest about, Ankita? These are the same old constituents of Third Front. Okay. And Third Front is a failed idea which has been repeatedly rejected by people of this country. And it is th these are the same parties which Congress props up in one manner or other. And uh, they have been the merchants of instability and the lack of growth in vast, uh, you know, areas of this country. Talk and therefore, yourself, I sir. feel that, you know, this repeated failed idea, seven if they rule. want to package it and sell it, talk talk on on the the people are not going to I want to just bring in the Congress. Uh, Onika, you've been waiting very patiently. Now, is the talk entirely shifting to a third front, a rallying of secular forces again? Where is the Congress in all of this? Has the AAP really hijacked the Congress's political uh, agenda? Not at all. I think AAP is a party of trial and errors. And uh, once bitten, twice shy. So they're going to experiment a lot. And that's where I think they are going to falter. And it will be a short term, uh, I think, a growth for But the from AAP. ruling Delhi for 15 years to becoming an absolute marginal player, no, are the alarm no, bells ringing in the like, Congress? No, it's not like that. You see, Delhi uh, has gone to polls year after year, five, after every five years. And despite that, people of Delhi have re-voted consecutively thrice for, for the Congress. Uh, um, meaning that the Congress has done ample work as far as infrastructure is concerned or the development is concerned. Everything is visible. But would you yeah, there could be a lack of few things maybe on the... Would uh, you concede that the Congress has something to learn from the way in which it's the Amadmi Party learning, has fought It's a question folks? of you know, um, speeding up the development work which could have paid us much more dividends. Okay, Pavan Varma, you had a point to make very quickly. I have to take last comments now. No, no, very quickly. No, I, I just want to say that Aman as usual who put the idea of any kind of front to, to, to oppose the BJP. I want to say if the BJP is the first front, what has it offered in the last seven months? People don't change their voting pattern after a landslide victory in Haryana and in the parliamentary elections so soon. Mr. Modi may have called Mr. President Obama 19 times Barack oh, in that monkey bath of 30 minutes, but have you seen the New York Times editorial? which is a damning indictment of this government and of the deafening oh, silence of Mr. No, Modi and all mean, the communities what has happened in Haryana also. So also. Therefore, well. it's not about first or third fronts. And what are the deliverables Varma, that have been uh, offered of India, by the BJP government Varma since it came to power? Mr. Pawan has been repeatedly endorsing the actions of uh, Prime Minister Modi. So therefore, we do not uh, need any certificate from any other party. And as far as you know, delivering is concerned, we have delivered in short okay, span okay, of very, nine months, okay, much more than any other government yeah. has, very, been very delivered, quickly, has been able okay. to deliver. Just look at the inflation yes. rate, yes. which is yes. double yes. digit, yes. okay, okay, has come to zero. Yes. 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 There has been no whisper of any corruption. I don't know what has happened in Haryana, Gita. I want to take, we have initiated. Where is it gone? Okay, last comments to get back to where we started. Too many people are speaking, I Are you seeing this as a possible, are you seeing Delhi as a possible launch pad for a new national dynamic? You know, as I said earlier, the opposition parties, which were in a bit of a disarray or non bj parties which are in a disarray after 2014, they didn't right. know how to react to this major change that had brought, been brought to politics by the 280 odd seats that the BJP won, which went far beyond anybody's expectation. Right. They think there is a way to stop BJP by coming together of all other parties. But having said that, it's, these are early days. If, you know, Very one right. one incident or one event doesn't really, and as grievances and alienation of people starts growing. I think I'm sure so politics, will, does not, politics is going to normalize. A swallow does not make a summer. We'll have to leave it at that for the politics moment. And of, course, yeah. and of course, uh, the final word but perhaps the on the matter. The, the invincibility sheen has broken.
yes, the final word saying politics and normalized the process, final right? word of course will be known only no, on the 10th how, that's how on tuesday how can you Tuesday forecast and we what the results are going to be oh, that's your please wait we'll, for 10th we'll, we'll, fix yes indeed I and mean, we will have to wait for the 10th i'd like to thank all our panelists for joining us tonight on this discussion we're completely out of time tonight thanks for watching the buck stops here